squad back with another video. I'm Reckless. Okay. We got Young Thug, Gunna, and 26 of YSL members. You know what I'm saying? The rest of it on Rico Charge. Definitely, I'm damn near tired of hearing this the Rico Charge shit because that's going down here in Indianapolis, too. Um, but I didn't know nothing about this. You know what I'm saying? Um, my brother actually told us about uh, yeah, a lot of shit awesome. that's going on. Yeah, with a lot of these rappers. Um, but shit, that's where they go ahead and jump on this one. Make sure I hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get in the video. Young Thug is a certified rap legend. He may have a different sound and dress crazy, but Thug is really from the streets. Over the years, he's beat for other artists, and now it's coming back around to him. Thug, Gunna, and 26 other YSL affiliates have been named in a 56 count indictment that could put him all the way for life. Here's what's happening. On Monday, May 9th, Young Thug's crib in Atlanta was raided by police. Cops tore his house apart, taking walls down, and digging up his yard for evidence. Thug was booked Damn. in the Fulton County Jail on conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act and participation in criminal activity. According to the 88-page indictment, Thug started YSL in 2012, and the gang has engaged in all kinds of criminal activity over the years, including murder, attempted murder, drug dealing, carjacking, and even shooting at Lil Wayne's tour bus back in 2015. Some of the crimes Thug wasn't even charged for, but was still accused of being involved in, like threatening to kill a dude at a mall and possession of meth with intent to distribute. Plus, he allegedly rented a car that was used during the murder of wife and Lucci's homie, Donovan Big Nut Thomas. In January 2015, Big Nut was standing on the street in Atlanta when someone drove by and started letting off shots. Nut was killed, and two innocent bystanders was also hit, but survived. No one knows for sure who was buying the hit, but some rumors say that YSL was involved. Now Thug's been named for renting a car that was used in the drive-by, and five other YSL affiliates have been charged for murder, including Yak Gotti, who signed the Thug's label. Even though 28 YSL members have been indicted, Thug's lawyers still claim that it's not a gang. His lawyer Brian Steele told the New York Times, Mr. Williams comes from an incredible, horrible upbringing, and he's conducted himself throughout his life in a way that is just to marvel at. He's committed no crime whatsoever. The indictment is baseless to include him. Gunner was also named in the indictment and charged with a count of racketeering. The documents show that he's been accused of receiving stolen property and drug possession with intent to distribute. Thug and Gunner's individual charges ain't that serious, but since this is a RICO case, they can go down for any crimes committed by other YSL affiliates. According to reporter Michael Seedon, the prosecution plans on using Thug and Gunner's lyrics and music videos in the case against them. They've used this tactic against rappers before. Back in October, the feds unsealed an indictment against five members of Old Block in Chicago for the murder of FBG Duck mm -hmm. and accused them of using social media and music to further their criminal activities. So basically, like we be saying in most of these videos, these niggas just be, they be telling on themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit gonna get you, it's gonna get you paid. <clears throat> it's gonna get you views. It's gonna get you fame. But sooner or later, the, you know what I'm saying, the feds, and these, these task forces out here is gonna catch up to you yeah. at the end of the day. For the murder of FBG Duck and accuse him of using social media and music to further their criminal activities. The Atlanta District Attorney said in the press conference, social media is a wonderful tool for prosecutors in every indictment we bring nowadays. I believe in the First Amendment. However, it does not protect people from prosecutors using it as evidence if it is such. Some of the lyrics cited in the case include Thug's verse on the track Slatty, where he rapped, I killed his man in front of his mama, like fuck lil bruh, sister, and his cousin. The documents also list his lyrics from Slime Shit, where he says, This that slime shit, this that mob shit, fuck the judge, YSL, this that mob life. They also include lyrics from when Thug sent shots at know. YFN on the track Ew, saying, All I ever wanted was the money, put your hands in the air if you dare. Any motherfucker step over here, F and then put him in a wheelchair. Another dude named in the YSL indictment is Big Briss, who's already facing attempted murder after allegedly shooting a cop in February. He was wanted for an alleged robbery from October where he stole a Rolex, iPhone, Gucci wallet, and diamond earrings. According to the police, Briss Dang bragged about the lick on social media, which helped them solve the case. When the cops tried to arrest him, Briss pulled out a gun and shot at them, oh, hitting police officer David Rogers four times in his shoulder, once in his knee, and once on the side of his head. Briss was arrested anyway, so he almost killed a cop for no reason. And now he's facing 15 more charges and a new indictment too. The indictment says after Big Nut was killed in 2015, Briss said in two separate videos that some people get killed, bro, from me and YSL. And I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body. After Rogers was shot, the Atlanta Police Department put out a statement saying YSL has a reputation for ruthless pedestrian and home invasion style robberies and drive-by shootings resulting in death and serious injury. Before Big Nut was killed back in 2015, YSL and YFN had no beef, but Nut was one of Lucci's closest homies, and his death caused a split not just between the crews, but the entire city of Atlanta. Rappers who used to rock with Lucci Damn. and Thug had to choose sides. 
and then more violence built into the streets. Atlanta District Attorney Fannie Willis said Big Nut's death created violence like Atlanta has never seen. Lucci claimed his home was shot up multiple times. Not long after, he and Thug started taking shots at each other on social media. Lucci also went after Thug's fiance, Jerrica Carlay, tweeting, I know you missed laying on that sofa with me, girl, hashtag Rika, and I got your phone on a leash. Then he posted private messages that was allegedly between him and Jerrica. Thug responded and tweeted, Shout out Solo Lucci, Young King. Then, if any upcoming rapper want to be put on, let's make music. I don't want a beef. They sent shots back and forth for a minute, then the beef almost cost someone else they like. In 2018, YSL Duke almost got killed outside of a strip club. Surveillance footage shows Duke leaving the club when two dudes come from behind and start following them. He turns around and sees them, then takes off running as one of them pulls out a pistol and starts letting off shots. Duke yeah. managed to get away without getting hit, but he could have easily been killed. For no real? one knows why the shooting went down, but rumors say YFM was involved. Then, in 2019, Thug hopped on IG Live and threatened to slap Lucci and Sauce Walker. They both clapped back on social media and Lucci was almost killed a month later. Police in Atlanta pulled up to the scene of the shooting and found Lucci's car lit up with bullets. There was a victim oh, who got hit twice, but it wasn't Lucci. They said more shots at each other online and it seemed like only a matter of time before someone else got hurt or killed. But before that happened, Lucci got arrested for his alleged involvement in a shooting from 2020. According to police, Lucci and three other wife and affiliates drove around in known enemy territory and shot at a group of their ops. The other crew fired back and hit Lucci's homie James Adams in the head. Then the other dudes in the car pushed Adams out and left him to die in the street. The police Damn. believe Lucci was the driver and not a shooter, but he was still charged with murder, aggravated assault, participating in criminal street activity, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. He was originally granted bond and released on house arrest, but he violated it by going to a strip club and a recording studio, so he got sent back to jail. While still locked up for the drive-by, Lucci was named in the RICO case centered around YFN. According to prosecutors, Lucci and a rapper from Miami named CP3 linked up and used their music to unite blood sets in Atlanta and Miami. Getting hit with a RICO charge is bad enough, but then Lucci almost lost his life behind bars. In February 2022, he claimed someone stabbed him from behind and there was a bounty on his head. Then, Damn. TMZ released a report of a fight between him and another inmate who both had sharp objects. Minute made strawberry, I was this fresh shit crazy, baby, It's strawberry AF. And I feel like the, the craziest thing about all this shit Allegedly, is that we, we got all the, the, the older crowd, you know what I'm saying? Ain't really setting no type of example because yeah. the younger artists, rappers and shit, ain't doing nothing but following with the, their footsteps thing, yeah. and shit. Yeah. Then, TMZ released a report of a fight between him and another inmate who both had sharp objects. Allegedly, Lucci yelled, I feel like killing this during the fight and was later treated for a cut on his head. It ain't clear if it's a targeted hit on Lucci or just a random fight, but prosecutors in the YSL case are claiming they was behind the stabbing attempt. According to authorities, Big Briss and a YSL affiliate named Antonio Sumlin asked Thug for permission to take Lucci out behind bars. It might not have been anyone associated with YSL who actually attacked Lucci, but the police have evidence that they was at least planning the hit. After Thug was arrested, rumors started going around that it had something to do with the death of Lakevia Jackson, the mother of one of Thug's sons. She was shot and killed at an Atlanta bowling alley back in March after allegedly getting into a fight with another group of people. Damn. The Atlanta DA Fannie Willis addressed the rumors and said she don't believe there's any connection between Thug's alleged gang activity and Jackson's death. Willis did say that she believes gang activity is causing the vast majority of violence in Atlanta. At a news conference in April, she said, I am not impressed with the fact that you are a rapper. That's not going to keep you from being indicted by default. If they committed acts of violence, and if we have enough evidence to substantiate that, you're going to see indictments. Violence in Atlanta has exploded this year. As of April 23rd, there have been 60% more homicides than last year. Criminal justice professor Dean Dabney says that DA Willis is going after the wrong targets. He says her claims about 80% of the violence coming from gangs is wrong and that he sees no convincing systematic evidence that substantiates that. Even if the DA is not right about her gang violence claims, that's not stopping her from going after them with everything in her power. Regal charges can be almost impossible to beat at the federal level, but since this is still a Georgia state case, Thug might have a chance. His lawyer Brian Steele seems confident he can get Thug off. He told a CNN affiliate, the response to any allegation is Mr. Williams committed no crime whatsoever and we will fight to my last drop of blood to clear him. Gunner Dang. and Thug received more bad news after the lawyer. initial story broke. When the police raided Thug's home, they ended up finding enough evidence to charge him with seven more felonies, including possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, possession of a sawed-off shotgun, sawed-off rifle, machine gun, dangerous weapon, or silencer, and others. It sounds like Thug had enough high-powered weapons to start his own war, and the district attorney thinks he already did. According to her, YSL could be responsible for up to 50 bodies since 2015. 
Thug requests a bond after his arrest, but Judge Robert Wolf decided that he's a flight risk and might commit more felonies if he's released. Thug's lawyer asked Wolf to consider releasing him with an ankle monitor, but the judge refused and said he has a lot of support outside the state of Georgia. It might be hard to get him back to the state. Even though his charges are way less serious than Thug's, Gunner was also denied bond after he turned himself in early Wednesday morning. Now both of them will be sitting in jail until their next court date. Hopefully they don't get hit with any more charges Damn. in the meantime. But tap in for updates as the story develops. That's one thing about it. Like what he what he said in the video though, like they don't care if you're a rapper, if you this, if you that. They don't care about none of that. And I feel like, especially with Atlanta, first of all, it's too many damn people in Atlanta. You wanna yeah, be technical. Everybody wanna go there. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing, people are like, man, everybody wanna go to Texas, everybody wanna go here and go to Nigga, everybody wanna go to Atlanta. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Definitely, definitely crazy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know, like I said, any of this shit. So it's definitely wild. Next yeah. video, make sure y'all comment down below and let us know. Because we got, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get more of this shit. See what's going on. Yeah, there's other ones. For real. But uh, y'all already know. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.